Hello there. It's me, Tara. Um, it is the evening. I'm getting ready for bed. And I wanted to do a video showing you all the nifty eye ointments and drops and tapes that I have accumulated in the past two weeks since being diagnosed with Bell's palsy. I never thought I would spend so much money on products to keep my eye, uh, my eye closed and moisturized. <laughs> So anyway, wanted to share with you a few things and then I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how I tape my eye closed before I go to bed at night to obviously protect my eye overnight from getting dried out and then, you know, obviously causing longer term damage to my cornea. So a couple of drops that I use, um, I use these BioPure, where's the thing, here we go, BioPure drops, sorry, it's, the bottle was a little worse for wear. These are just saline drops. Um, Hydration Boost Saline Drops. These are good for just kind of regular, you know, use them as much as you want type of drops. Um, it's just saline. So if your eye is really dry and really like irritated, these probably aren't gonna do much for you. I don't know if it's just my experience, but the first, I would say, five or six days of having Bell's Palsy, um, my eye was dry all the time crazy dry like i just felt like no matter how many drops i put in it was just always irritated so i don't know if my eye has gotten used to the situation and is creating more natural lubrication and so my eye isn't as irritated all the time or if maybe my eyelid is um, closing once in a while and i'm not realizing it and so it's naturally you know getting lubricated that way i don't really know the good thing is that the past week Though I am still very mindful about using the drops because I don't want to think that my eye is hydrated and really it's really dry and there's issues. So I have been using the drops pretty regularly, um, but I'm not finding that like I need to use them. And so that's obviously great. So I've been using a lot of just the saline because all my eye seems to really need right now. However, if my eye is feeling particularly dry or maybe like a little bit of pain, which makes me think it's probably really dry, I will use these lubricating gel drops um, that I got from CVS. Um, there's like a name brand too, but they're basically like a gel. So they obviously give a lot more coating to the eye as far as hydration. The only downside with these gel drops is that they will make your eye blurry. Um, you know, so long as like the gel is in there. So that's kind of annoying. Plus I have been able to get my contact in my my right eye the past week or so, which I wasn't able to do initially for, again, whatever reason. So I have my contact in and um, I do find that these gel drops, the it just, it sits on there and it just more blurry. So I try to use these more sparingly because obviously I want to be able to see clearly on both eyes. But sometimes when my eye does get really dry, I have to use these gel drops. So these are the two drops that I've been using um, and they've been working out, you know, well. And then I will also show you my little eye patch, which I have not needed. Um, the first week again, my eye being so dry, I was trying to go as long as I could with both eyes because I was getting really dizzy with the patch on. Um, everyone, it's so funny when you tell people you have Bell's palsy and that your eyes are really irritated, some people are like, oh, just patch it. And it sounds so simple. Yeah, just put a patch on your eye, you'll be all good. But it's very disorientating to walk around with one eye and try to get through life like a normal person when you're used to having two working eyes. So um, after a while, I would just start to feel kind of like, ooh, so I have to take this off and get both both eyes back. But um, so this, this patch here, I like, it's like a, kind of like a soft patch. Um, the one that I initially got from CVS was a little bit like of a harder shell and it just like, it was like kind of poking into my, my skin. So I like this one. It's soft. Hold on, let me see if I can get it on here. It's soft. It doesn't look super cool, but it gets the job done. So I was patching underneath and then I was putting this on top when my eye really needed, you know, some a break from being open all the time. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how I prepare for bed. So I have these preservative-free Refresh P, I still can't figure out where the camera is, Refresh PM drops that I got from CVS. This is like a, a thick kind of 
gel, I guess, that I put in my eye and I put it under my, I just pull my eyelid down a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean too. I'm not always good about it, but the last thing you wanna do is get an eye infection from touching your face so much. So I always wash my hands before I do this, but I just pull down my eye a little bit and I just put a gentle stream inside my lower lid and it kind of naturally is gonna go up my eye, but I just try to kind of help it up so that it is protecting my whole eye. And then after I do that, I got this tape. I tried a few different tapes. This is 3M Transport Tape. It tends to have really good sticking power, but it also pulls off my skin pretty easily. So it has like the perfect combination. Um, stickiness, but, but doesn't really hurt or grab at your skin when it's coming off. So the way that I do this, again, I'm sure there's probably a lot of different techniques. Mine's probably not the best, but this has been working for me. So I take a piece of tape about, I guess, two inches. And I just try to kind of hold up my eyelid. It's kind of hard doing, not in the mirror, I'm doing it on camera, but I'll do my best. Um, try to stick it against my eyelid up here. My eyes still open, obviously. Now my eye is at the point now where I can close it. Um, the first week I couldn't, so I really had to hold my eye down and try to maneuver to stick the tape to my lower skin with my eye down. It was definitely tricky. And I woke up a lot of mornings with my eye like kind of half open, so I know it wasn't perfect, but Thankfully now I can kind of close my eyes. So I'm going to close my eye, holding down this part of the tape. Sometimes I have to do this a few times to get it right, but then I'm just going to try and kind of help to coax my eyelid down. So that's good. See my eyelid, it's closed. I just kind of push the tape in a little bit. I try not to do it on my eyebrow because I like to have my eyebrows at the end of this experience and not have only one eyebrow. So after I do that piece of tape, all right, I got a second piece, again, kind of about the same two inches. And I put it in kind of the corner of my eye here. Again, trying not to get the eyebrows. I want to keep my eyebrows. And I just kind of pull it this way across. It just gives a little extra reinforcement. My eye tends to want to open in here. So this kind of helps to keep it from doing that. I think that's pretty good. Uh, not perfect. Let me try to fix it a little bit more. So I kind of use the tape and I keep, you know, close my eye while I'm doing it. It will help to keep the lid down. Let's try a little better. That's good. So weird. So weird that I have to do this. All right. So next step, I bought these little eye patches on Amazon. I think they're actually for kids. Um, they might have adult size. I don't know. This kid size works fine for me. Again, another little layer of protection here. So I'm going to get this. So I'm going to put it kind of in the corner. And that just helps keep it down even more. I don't really know how much this does, but I bought them, so I'm using them. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much my eye patched. I kind of checked to make sure like it was closed, it doesn't feel irritated. The last thing you want to do is try and go to sleep if there's like a eyelash, a rogue eyelash or something bothering you. So this feels comfortable. Um, so that's it. So after I do that, my final step is I wear my nice little eye mask, which I never wore before. And when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I still think it's nighttime because I still have my eye mask down. I think, oh, I can still sleep more. And then I'll kind of get a little peek and I'll realize it's bright outside already. So anyway, that is my routine. I'm not taking this off because I'm actually going to bed right now. I hope you find this helpful. If anything, you can have a good laugh. Good night.